Tomorrow, students head back to class in the Grossmont Union High School District. Joining us right now, Superintendent Teresa Kemper to tell us what we can all expect. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Raul. Everybody wants to know from students, staff, teachers, parents, everybody, what are the safety protocols in place when kids and teachers and everybody go back to school tomorrow? When students come back tomorrow, we're going to have all the safety protocols in place. You know, we have been back in person since September of last year. So I think we have shown that we can have students back in person safely. Students will all be wearing masks when they're indoors and we'll continue with the cleaning protocols that we instituted last year. So the students you mentioned will be required to wear a mask indoors, correct? That's right. Students are required to wear masks indoors and teachers or other staff who are indoors with students will be wearing masks. Um, you mentioned in class since last September, how do you plan this time around to handle the parents and the families who object to the mask, who don't want to wear the mask? How will that play out for you guys? How will you handle it? Uh, we've already let parents know that students will be wearing masks indoors. If they would like another option, they can choose to put students in an independent study program. And is that online or is that in person? That is, uh, it's a combination. It's the traditional independent study program where students work independently, but check in with teachers. So it will not look like the hybrid learning right. and distance learning model that we had in place last year. What is the messaging to these families and how are you dealing, what do you guys say to them? Is there a point where you're trying to convince them, hey, no, it's really important, or are some people just adamant? What is the messaging from not just your school district, quite frankly, but all school districts? Um, the message to parents and families, it is it is safe to be in person. Uh, schools, just as we did last year, will ensure student and staff safety. Um, and the primary goal is to get students back in person as much as possible. One big lesson we learned last year is that students learn best from their teachers in face-to-face -face interaction. I wanted to ask you, the, the numbers are up again with uh, the Delta variant, almost 1,400 new cases just yesterday in San Diego County. Uh, how is it different now versus what we went through last year when schools had to shut down? Is it the fact that almost we're almost at that 75% of people being vaccinated? Is that the key ingredient in the difference this year versus last year? I believe the uh, vaccinations has made a difference and you know we're a high school district right. and all high school students now have the option to be vaccinated as well and so it's it's the masking that allows us to be back uh, without following the stricter distance guidelines that we had last year so we are happy to accommodate in order to get students back. We've had other schools where three or four, there's a clusters of, of kids who have tested positive for the COVID-19. Uh, if this happens, if there's an outbreak on one of your campuses, what's the protocol? What happens? Uh, we follow the same process as last year. If a student is positive, then that student is sent into quarantine as well as uh, close contacts of that student. So we found that, um, you know, school goes on. We had very few cases last year. And so at this point, we're not concerned because we do follow safety protocols and um, recognize, and, we, and our parents recognize too, yeah. how important it is to get kids back in school. Is there testing available through the school on campus or, or, or for teachers and, and, and students as well? We don't have walk-in testing, yeah. but we do have testing for um, students on teams, um, just as we did last year. We mentioned that those who, uh, who choose perhaps not to wear a mask will have that other option. What about um, those who are just concerned? Will online only be an option for those people, or is it just the kind of off-campus, the hybrid that you mentioned? Online, online uh, and independent study is an right. option for any student this year. We found a lot of parents at the end of last year thought they might be interested in mm -hmm. keeping their students home. But uh, when we did a recent survey, uh, we found that only 60 families were interested in that option out of almost 20,000 students. And you got to think all, all this aside, um, tomorrow's still an exciting day. It still is the first day of school. Despite everything we're going through, we're doing everything to be safe, correct? Oh, yes. It's it's going to be the first day of school like no other. Some of these students haven't seen each other in a year and a half. Wow. So it's going to be a great homecoming for them. 
you know, before we let you go, w w one last question. This is more on a personal note. How, cha how challenging has this been for you? I know when a lot of educators signed up for, the, for their jobs, this was the last thing on their mind. How challenging has the past year and a half been for you personally as superintendent? Uh, this, uh, the, the whole pandemic has been extremely challenging. We had to invent everything that we did because we've never done it before. And I'm so proud of our teachers and staff who found ways to get us through it and to get students back in class. You know, invent is, is so true. It's an excellent word to use. That's what kind of what we're all doing. So uh, that's where the patience comes in. And we thank you for all the work you guys are doing, keeping our kids safe. Teresa Kemper, good luck tomorrow.